What's up, you guys? Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about using uh, Nmap and its GUI counterpart ZenMap for uh, host enumeration, scanning, and reconnaissance on a network. Uh, so to get started and go ahead and pull that up, we'll go ahead and open up a terminal shell. And then from the terminal, all you have to do is type in ZenMap, and that'll pull up the ZenMap GUI interface. And this is a really great tool for... Uh, for and an awesome interface for nmap just because there's so many options available here uh, you can use just your traditional commands in this line right here so just like you were to use a uh, command line um, you've also got a lot of different profiles which are pre-configured different types of scans uh, you can enter your targets here or you can just enter them in the command line and uh, it also provides you just tons of information for all of the scans and it just continues to append the information for all the scans that you do so uh, we'll go ahead and get started with a couple of stand or scans uh, for starters we're gonna do a couple of discovery scans just to see what's out there before we actually start scanning services so uh, I'm gonna start with an ICMP uh, ping scan and so to do that just the traditional nmap command for that is gonna be nmap then uh, we'll do SP and then I'm currently using a private uh, range for my discovery network, so we're going to use uh, or for my uh, my lab network, so I'm going to use that, and we'll scan. And you can scan just a single host here. You could also scan multiple hosts by entering uh, multiple IPs separated out by spaces, or you can scan a whole range by doing, say, dash 128, and that would scan. 10.0.1.0 through 10.0.1. or 10.0.1.128. So uh, we'll go ahead and run that ping scan. And a ping scan is usually really quick. It's just uh, there to find out what's available out there. Okay, so uh, now we have a list of all of our hosts that are available on that range uh, that are pingable with ICMP. And uh, so as of right now, we've got five different hosts. Um, another option for uh, systems that might have uh, ICMP echo requests blocked, you can also use a uh, TCMP SYN ping, which would be uh, nmap dash ps and then the address range and then you could also do that with uh, specifying by default it uses uh, TCP port 80 for that and it just sends a send packet and listens for an acknowledgement response uh, and then you could also specify different ports other than port 80 by just doing immediately after the PS the port number that you want to use. Like say I wanted to scan for port 443, uh, then we would just run it like that. Um, I'm not going to run it because I know that it's not going to pull up any more hosts in my network than uh, the default ping scan does. Um, another very helpful scan is uh, an ARP ping scan. And the reason I say that is because uh, sometimes you'll have ICMP traffic blocked and sometimes you'll have TCP uh, ports blocked, but any hosts that are out there, they can't block ARP traffic if they're going to be networked at all. So uh, in order to run one of those, it's going to be uh, nmap-pr and then any given host or range. And then we would run that by clicking scan. And so some uh, other stuff that you'd want to do after you uh, have done your discovery and discovered each of your different hosts that are available, you can uh, go ahead and start scanning for different TCP ports, UDP ports, and uh, services that are out there. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, look at a couple of the profiles that we have real quick. Uh, so um, we've got an option for an intent scan, which basically scans uh, 1,000 most commonly used TCP ports. You've also got uh, plus UDP ports, um, then all TCP ports, which scans all available TCP ports. Um, intent scan with no ping. Um, if you had discovered hosts whenever you did your TCP SYN ping that weren't discoverable otherwise with the ICMP ping scan, uh, you would actually use this intent scan, no ping. Uh, and then... Uh, 
several other options that are helpful. Uh, trace route is a is a good one for locating exactly what number of hops and where those hops are in order to get to a specific coast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run an intent scan on my different hosts so far that we've discovered. So uh, you can actually do multiple targets here just by listing them out and spacing them out. So we'll do uh, dot one, then ten dot zero dot one dot three, ten dot zero dot one dot four, then ten dot zero dot one dot six, ten dot zero dot one dot seven, and then that'll do an intent scan on each one of those different hosts. And uh, while that's scanning, we'll go ahead and look at some of the other stuff that's available in this interface. Um, one interesting one is that in addition to the profiles that are, are already available, you can come up here to Profile and click New Profiler Command, and you can go through just tons of different options here of different stuff that you'd want to do from operating system detection, uh, different types of scans, uh, different types of pings for discovery. Um, you can actually use, uh, Nmap actually has its own scripting engine built into it, which we're not going to get too into depth on that right now. Um, target options, uh, and so just, just a whole bunch of options for actually building your own profile. And then you just save changes with the name of the profile right here, and then you can use it at any time uh, with any given number of targets. Um, also, uh, as it starts scanning systems, you'll find that you'll uh, start getting more and more information in your different tabs here. Um, different host information, topology. Uh, as of right now, all we've got is the basic topology information because it hasn't finished its intent scan. As soon as that completes, it'll populate with more information. Uh, and it just finished. So, uh, so what we've got is we've got a Windows host. Uh, these are actually three Linux hosts, but there weren't, uh, wasn't enough information available to identify what operating system it was. And then my Ubuntu server down here. Um, and then we can look at uh, the different information available on the hosts, including like different ports that are available. Um, topology shows, based on the number of hops from the local host, where different systems are. Uh, you can look at host details from operating system information, MAC address, IP address. Um, different services that are up and then you can also look at the history of the scans that you've already run. Um, also in addition to sorting by host you can also just sort by service if there's a specific type of service that you're targeting uh, for a specific attack vector and you can just sort through those and it'll show you which different IP addresses are running those services and at which different ports and the current state of the port. Um, also something else that you can do if you are wanting to perform a scan on a remote uh, web server, you can actually use the server domain name. So if I wanted to run a scan, say, on Facebook, I could just enter that right here and then run the intent scan and it will scan all of the information out there. Uh, obviously two things that are immediately going to come up is you're going to have services since it is a web server available on both port 80 and port 443. Um, but uh, then, uh, in addition to that, something else that's uh, interesting is under host details here. If you find additional information about a, well, we need to sort by host first, but if you find additional information about a host that wasn't pulled up by Nmap, but that you want to include in here, you can actually include that information here in comments, and you can just save your own personal information on that host. Um, so, uh, letting it finish running this, uh, the scan on Facebook. Um, some other interesting stuff that you can do if you go to uh, scan here, you can actually consistently save all your scans to a specific directory and you can uh, save the information from the scans so that you can refer back to it at any time. Um, you can compare results between scans, uh, filter by specific types of hosts. Uh, okay, so our Facebook scan completed. So as you can see, now that's been appended to our different host list. And uh, then we can look at the information available for that web server. Um, 
And as you can see, our topology grid is actually updated. Uh, obviously, the Facebook web server is going to be more hops away from my local host than uh, my other virtual machines on my network. So as you can see, it's on a ring that's further away from the local host than the others. And as you scan more hosts with different variable lengths of uh, hops, you'll actually notice that this will expand to uh, to include some pretty significant detail. You can also save this graphic so that you can refer to that back to that at any time. Um, so that's uh, some basic nmap and uh, zenmap techniques that can be used for discovery for enumerating different hosts out on a network and also enumerating the services that are available. And uh, then uh, from there you can get an idea of what attack vectors are going to be able to be available in order to start exploiting machines. Uh, so that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you next time.